Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen. Uh, today we are solving a classic problem that involves a bit of a map and a lot of uh, coding fun. So this will be Fibonacci number. So uh, if you are new here, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. So let's dive in. Uh, let's begin by understanding the problem. We have uh, to find the uh, nth number in the Fibonacci sequence. And the Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where uh, a number is the sum of two numbers before it. So uh, here is a quick uh, example. So let's draw it. So we have, for example, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. And this is a Fibonacci sequence. And as you can see, uh, two first numbers are 0 and 1. And then this number is sum of these two. So 0 plus 1 equals 1. Then those two equals 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then we have 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. So 5 then 3, 5, 8, 5, 8 plus 8 uh, is 13, and 8 plus uh, 13 equals 21. So uh, this is a Fibonacci uh, sequence. So uh, the challenge is to find the nth number in the uh, sequence, and we are given the n and uh, will be between 0 and 30. So let's get started with the implementation. So uh, we'll start by defining, uh, so we have already our uh, solution class and Fibonacci uh, fib uh, method. And the method takes an integer n as input and returns an integer. So let's implement it. So if n less than 1, we return n. And Fibonacci array will be 0, 1 plus 0 times n minus 1 and for i in range 2 to n plus 1, Fibonacci array will be i and Fib Fibonacci array i minus 1 and Fibonacci array i minus 2. And finally, we return Fibonacci array at the end. So let's run it to see if it's working. So hopefully it will work. So we need to handle the base case first. So if n is 0 or 1, we return n directly. And now uh, we create an array, fib array, with uh, the first two Fibonacci number. And then we fill the rest with zeros. So uh, we are initializing this array with a size of n plus 1. Uh, and next, uh, we loop uh, from the number 2 to n. And for each number i, we set Fibonacci array to the sum of the two predecessing number, as uh, shown previously on the example. So it will be Fibonacci array i minus 1 and i minus 2. And finally, we return Fibonacci array n as the nth Fibonacci number. And yep. Our solution work. We can run it for unsynthesized cases as well. So let's see. So yeah, our implementation bit 60% uh, with respect to runtime and 27 with respect to memory. So uh, all good and yeah, uh, working as expected. So perfectly, our code is working fine. And the time complexity of this solution is mm, O N. And the space complexity is also uh, O uh, N. And we are using a dynamic programming approach here, uh, which uh, reduces the time complexity from exponential in recursive solution to linear in this case. So, uh, and there we have it, uh, a simple efficient solution to a classic uh, problem. Uh, remember, coding is all about uh, problem solving and the more problems you solve, the better you uh, become. And don't forget to hit the like button 
if you found this video helpful and let me know uh, in the comments if you have any question or suggestion for next video. Uh, thank you for watching. Keep practicing. Happy coding. And see you next time.